everyone, this is Hugo from Ichiban Studio, and today we're going to be looking at painting an Elysian Taurus Assault Vehicle uh, from Forgewell. So basically, the first thing we do here is a base coat of Earth from Minotaur Paints. As the title says it here, now it's camel time. So basically, uh, I was using a green, and actually it was like so flashy that it burned my retina on my eyes. So I decided to go with a Minotaur dark green on top of that green initial green that I put there, and we're just doing some parallel lines uh, to each other into a, a non-uniform pattern, a little bit to imitate uh, some German uh, camel patterns even the colors are to imitate German camouflage patterns so basically this is going to be the base coat for our uh, winter wash technique today so which is uh, basically it's a winter camouflage scheme that they used to use in the World War II, in World War two which the tanks would have been already uh, and the vehicles would have been already colored into um, their pre-existing camouflage and then when winter would hit they would actually uh, throw uh, buckets of white paint on top of the tanks just to make them you know like match their environment because obviously they didn't have time to go back to the factory right so we're just applying the first color in our camouflage right here now this is our second uh you know camouflage color and basically what I did is I use uh, muddy brown for Minotaur and uh, angelic blood and I mix them a little bit together to have a more reddish kind of brown and we're doing the second color of our camouflage and uh, just be sure to if you want to have it three color scheme of course so be sure to left a little bit of your base color show through so you got a nice three uh, three color scheme pattern going on right there but it's really easy and really straightforward and it does look nice but at the same time you don't need to go super crazy on the camouflage mean detail wise because this is going to cover be covered by a white paint after so there's not going to be a, a whole lot showing through anyway it's just some patches that are going to show through uh, when we're going to be using the chipping effect there after Now it's time to use that magical chipping fluid that is brought to you by AK Interactive. By the way, I'm not sponsored by them in any way. Um, worn effects, so we're just applying it uh, everywhere on the model, and this is going to help us chip the paint off uh, for the snow uh, wash technique. It's a snow wash, but that's how they used to call it. Snow wash time now. And basically, uh, we're just applying uh, the Minotaur uh, Snow White on top of the whole model itself. And then uh, once the Snow White is applied, that's where we're going to be able to go and chip the paint off and create that effect of having a tank that, you know, or a vehicle that used to, you know, be in the field and had oil and grit on top of it. And then after that, the guys would just throw a buckets of paints on top of it. So the paint would be pretty fragile and would chip easily. Oops, we got a fail there. Airbrush just blew a bunch of stuff on my table. Basically, that's what we're trying to achieve. So now it's the chipping time. Using a hard brush, uh, hard bristle brush, we're just gonna put some water on top of the model and we're just gonna rub it in and chip it off. For this, you know, it's totally up to you. Same thing for when you're applying the white. You can apply very thick white, you know, or you can, you know, apply it thicker in in, in, in some areas and a little bit less thick in other areas, just to show that you know the, the guys didn't have time to put as much paint as they wanted in some areas and same thing for the chipping you know the, it could be heavy chipping or you can just go with light chipping this technique is totally up to you depending on how long you want you know kind of the vehicle to have been in you know in operation with that wash or that paint on top of it so you know it's it's a fun technique to do because it, it leaves you fully open and it leaves your imagination fully open to whatever you want to create with that
that's the wash time right now so basically we're gonna be washing the whole model we're gonna be using AK interactive enamel wash for DAK vehicle it's a greenish kind of wash and it matches this technique really well it, it goes well with this technique I did it previously in another build so basically we're doing the whole model before the, the applying the enamel wash on top of it the enamel will not damage the paint that much but once we go in the cleaning part of it the white spirit that we're going to be using to clean it up will damage the paint so gloss varnish your uh, your model before so that way when we're doing what we're doing right now which is the cleaning part it's not going to damage the whole model so basically that's pretty much it for part one and then in part two what we're going to be going to look at is finishing the model but we're going to be using some nice technique with oil paints to be able to bring in some more detail in the white and in contrast in that old technique and we're just going to you know do some cool stuff i think plus we're going to be doing a custom base a display base for that that little guy just a small uh base to put him on and, and everything so we're going to have that in part two and part three of this video i hope you enjoyed it this was Hugo from each Man studio and i will see you guys on the next video cheers for watching and uh, please don't forget if you use the first time watching subscribe like the video it helps us a lot cheers